In this video, we'll see how to calculate normal probabilities using the online calculator. From the resources menu, you can click the link to open up the SOCR distributions. Select from the drop down normal distribution. We'll do some examples from the book. Consider example 50, where you're given the mean is 54 and the standard deviation is 8. In this example, you want to find the probability that x is greater than 56. So specify your left cutoff as 56, and then your right cutoff to be 86. Notice 86 marks the end of the graph. I guess we can put in 1,000 to make sure it goes all the way. I won't let us go. Okay. So the area between here and the, between the red shaded area is about 0 0.401262 and then there's a small amount on the right so if you need more than four digits of accuracy you need to add in that probability to the right as well. That's the probability of the right at 86 that's not shown in the graph. But the nice thing is we do get a nice picture out of this. So that's the probability there that x is greater than 56. So we want to find the probability x is less than 30. Then we would set this to be 22, which is the more lower bound on the left. And we want uh, less than 30, so put in 30 for the right cutoff. And we can see that just a little bit has been shaded in there. So a very small probability. Again, for more accuracy, not only take the between area in red shaded, but add in that left area as well, since that's what's cut off outside the graph. Now you may just want to find the probability that x is between two numbers. So what if we want to know between 30 and 80? Or sorry. Let's do 56, that's what we did before. So between 30 and 56, you can see that the area is given there. So clearly it's designed for finding areas between two numbers, but if you need to go all the way to the left or all the way to the right, you can use the lowest number on the left or the greatest number on the right. And I think when you try to go higher than that or lower than those numbers, it defaults. So if I try to put in 0, it puts in 22 automatically, because I can't cut it off any lower than 22. Now, this doesn't allow me to put in a certain probability and then find the values of the random variable. For that, you would want to use another online calculator or use the spreadsheet software or a graphing calculator. And I have videos demonstrating how the graphing calculator and spreadsheets would work with that. And you can get some estimation here um, by looking at the probabilities and doing sort of a guess and check algorithm. But we will uh, not be messing with that now. Anyway, once you have a graph you like, you can always use the snipping tool and take a snippet of it and include that as part of your assignment um, or do a screenshot using Alt Print Screen.